so okay I'm back with a new series it's gonna be on um, survival mode of course and uh, it's another it's another type of cosplay series on you know Nathan Spencer Rad from the Bionic Commander series he's a he's a very old um, you know NES era classic icon character um, so yeah, the reason I'm doing is is purely for nostalgic values. Um, I was talking to a bunch of friends yesterday, well actually today in the morning, that they were all having this you know kind of nostalgic memory about the original Bionic Commando game, and then I decided to to make another. It's gonna be like a sort of mini series. Oh yeah, and he's with me already. Hey. Um, and it's gonna be based on the uh, on the story quest, you know, the quest line of of the Brotherhood of Steel. And I haven't done that quest yet in any of my other characters, my other in my other series. But I thought that he will be the right character for that one since he's all he he, he come from from military background and stuff so I thought that he would be a good choice for that so we're gonna say come on there has to be a release <laughs> a goodbye come on, one last come on, time come on. oh god one last goodbye to my to my woman she got the vinyl hair I'll find who did this and I'll get Sean back. Take her wedding ring. And if you see the reboot story of him, the uh... Well, it's kind of like a reboot sequel story. And he's supposed to have this bionic arm that he used for, you know, special abilities like grappling hook and... And do a lot of real crazy things with it. So I guess the Pip Boy can be the simulation of that uh, bionic arm. Uh, and his wife, he has to, he has to do a lot with that, with, with the bionic arm. Like they're supposed to somehow they kill her and they put the, the energy of her soul trap inside her bionic arm. But that, that's part of the uh, of the most recent. Um, story of him, which I don't think is a bad, you know, I think he has some some power in it, but you know, the the story I like the best is from the original NES and, and he, th there is a remake of the original NES that's also a real cool game and then then it came, I think, Bionic Commando 2 and then and then the new reboot of the series that came for PS3 and I love all the games, you know, all of them, I really like them, but the one that, st that stay on me as most memorable will always be the original NES um, game. And I think he looks pretty legit, he looks a lot like the original NES. So, welcome to the wasteland. So, um... That's one of the other reasons why I decide to to start a new series, cause cause he he looks he looks a lot like the original, you know, um, Brad, and he even got the gun that resembles so much. That's why I'm using this gun, cause it looks like his big cannon gun that he got in the game. But if you if you see if you look for the original um, Nathan Spencer or Rad as I call it, he. I think this is the clothes you can make him look to that. He got more of a spiky hair, but I gave him this kind of length of the hair because I, I thought it would look good on him. So I don't I don't even know if I'm gonna keep the dog for the whole series. I thought just he never bothers me. It's one of my favorite companions. So I grab that. So yeah, um, I usually play this game mostly on, on very hard, cause 
I, I really don't like the whole slow healing factor of, of, of the survival and I also don't like how bad affects the uh, stealth when you're trying to sneak up on enemies and you know the, the, the enemies they, they just get this insane perception that that is being added because of the survival mode so that's one of the reasons why I, I often played on a normal I don't know, I don't think I wanna talk to the robot over there yet. I'm trying to think what is the fastest way to go to go to star the the brother who rely quest. Listen to the military maybe that one. Hmm. I don't know, I maybe that one the one I talk to that's the one I talk to Let's hear the radio, let's hear. I think that one. Well, I guess I don't have any signal here. Okay, complete. Proceed to Cambridge Police Station. That's the one that I help. Oh, wait. Hey, where you going? Don't go to the water. It's all radiated. Come here. No, don't make me go in there, you bitch. Whatever, go away. I was going to buy some bullets from her, but... So yeah, as you can see, this is a, a little bit of already played um, character. I think he reached like level 10 or 11, something like that. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know I wanted to create another character from the very beginning because I was waiting for an update that was supposed to come to make the game even harder than survival, but it never came. Uh, it, it looks like the consoles are not gonna get that patch anytime soon so I was like well whatever I uh, I got into this huge nostalgic hype talking to friends about the original Bionic Commando and then uh, and I was like you know what fuck it man I kind of hated how the original Bionic Commando is kind of a it is like a, it is really an iconic jam and it is a very well known mostly like in Japan or I guess Europe was but somehow it still kind of feels that but it's it's a very kind of overlooked game i don't know why and i know that everybody that knows the game everyone absolute worship the game but at the same time i've been noticing that there is a lot of people that they don't know the game yet so yeah i need to go right now where's the map i need to reach here, this area. This one is just a waypoint that I, I should take away. Wait a moment. Oh, I gotta take it out. Just gonna take it out, remove it, so it won't confuse me. So I have only one market, you know. And yeah, I have. Of course, I love this game. Of course, I always do. It's one of the greatest Fallout in existence, I think. And I start with the original Fallout, you know. I really love the music on that one and the look of the game. And... But the gameplay of this modern Fallout is far superior, I think. I just like more the gameplay on this one. On, you know, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and... Oh shit, there's so many like that. That looks like a legendary already. Don't you mutated fiends. Good that it's kind of night time, they cannot see me yet. But they're gonna have a harder time to see me. Let's just take this path. I don't have to be wasting bullets on those shit heads. Maybe I'm gonna have to. Let's see if I hit it. Yes! <laughs> Good shot, rat. Yeah, this gun is not terribly OP, especially when you get an early game. You can get this gun like on level two if you want to. There, are, there are locations to get it. Like that Kendall Hospital is one of them. It's 
so I rush into there just to get a gun cause cause I thought that yeah I'm using bad mainly cause I'm trying to save bullets you know and since I got already good accuracy with the bat I, uh, but I really don't like to be overusing the bats I'm using them mainly because in this game in this game in Fallout 4 you wanna you wanna use bats cause you're gonna be oh shit you're gonna be building this um, critical rating uh, like meter bar that every time you use it you're gonna be building that which is pretty different than the other Fallout in this game it's not like you get some random luck critical chance in this game you have to build it by using the bat so that's the only reason why because I... I really don't like to overdo it with the bats I, I don't I don't like the feeling of the game shooting for me I like to do it myself but uh -oh. in this game it's a little bit different there's an enemy over there probably in Raider is it yeah no it's on the bridge it looks no it's right here Oh no, a fucking mosquito. That's terrible. I'm out of my way, you little bitch. I'm already getting poison here. Hmm. Got to keep in mind that I'm playing on... ...on survival mode. Now, I'm gonna go and use... ...just one... ...for the radiation. We want to have as much health we want. Alright, that's good. What happened to these people? So, yeah, you should maybe, if you're wondering what is the Bionic Commander, look at all this. You should, you should go, if you, if you never seen the original. NES, which is kind of a shame. What are you doing, dog? You should go and like go and Google or YouTube, play through and look for the original NES by any command and, and watch. You know, it's it, it is a very fun 2D. The... Wait, sometimes there is a behemoth over here. Oh my god, should I fight that fucking thing right now? Not from this distance, man. I'm really low level and I know he will one shot me with a stone or something so what I wanna do if you wanna fight a thing you might wanna might wanna go and snipe it thing from from the bridge that will be my strategy wait a second let's see what we can do I know as soon as I shoot a thing it's gonna come near me that's terrible damage but I got to go and hide because that thing is gonna <laughs> destroy me if I don't That's how I like to do uh, stealth attack in this game. You wanna hit the monster or, or the enemy, and then you wanna because they're gonna go when you do your first shot. They're gonna go looking for that spot where you originally did the first shot. You know, so they they won't be looking. Wait, is that an enemy too? Oh shit. They won't be looking too far away from that area uh, as long. I was going to say unless it's one of those robots. Um, what's the name? The uh, the assaultatron. Well, I like to call them fuck you trons because that's what they are. Like, the fuck you trons. <laughs> but they will be looking. They they have a wider um, area to look. But most enemies like this one, like this fool right here, the behemoth. He will be looking. Mostly where the shot came from, and I'm shooting too much. You you don't want to be shooting like too much, because the more the more you shoot, the more aware of your, of of your position the enemy is gonna be. So you wanna do like one or two shots and go high. Hey, look, he, he, he's not gonna come over here. I think, hopefully, he's gonna go to the area I shot first. Can I? Okay. It's gonna come exactly where I am right now, so I really want to get the hell out of the way right now. 
And I'm thinking that it's a horrible idea to have a companion when when you're trying to do sneak assault attacks because they tend to spot the uh, the companion and I don't like that shit. It's one of the reasons why I don't like to use companions too and <coughs> as much as I go as I like to go solo. the step he's somewhere around that car I don't know I really like the, the concept of the behemoth super mutant oh he's almost sensing me but I wish I think they could have make him look a bit bigger and more oh, yeah I knew he was in this direction hey wait there I wish I could have make it a lot bigger and a little bit more threatening. I'm sure they could have making at least like four times bigger, man. Like the size of this tree, you know. For something that's supposed to be a behemoth. Uh oh, uh oh. I got to remember that I don't have perfect, like perfect stealth, like in my other character. Let me see. My agility. Well, it's eight. My agility. And it's getting day time, so I'm gonna get spotted soon. He's gonna be able to see me from afar. Damn it. Leave my poor dog alone, you little shit. He's gonna keep searching around the area, what's running away. He can hide there and, and probably he will respawn, but. reason he's getting way really too close. So you, what you want to do is wait for the caution to go away and, and strike back, you know. Now I am losing an advantage right now. The day, you know, the day, the dawn is coming. So we think that he did his face. I want to go and hide into this facility right here. I um I wasn't planning to make him any kind of assassin because he's more of a commando type of guy, you know. The character I mean Nathan. But he's a great survival. Uh, the best way for you to survive, the short survival, is just doing sneak shots and attacking, hiding. Uh oh, that was a bad shot. He's gonna come over here. That creepy monkey over there. I think I slow my tape. Wait a moment. I got a good idea. Oh yeah. It's my turn to be a good idea. what I needed. Okay. I think it's gonna be able to spot me. My little caps. He might be able to see me because it's daylight, you know, it's almost daylight so So what a way to start this episode, man. The first episode, killing the behemoth. I'm only level, like what, level level 10, level 11, something like that. This one is, uh, you got a skull too, but I got a good weapon, so. Yeah, I went early and I went to, what is the name of that place? To the Bolt, right? To the Bolt 81. I just make a crazy run over there, just to get the rifle that I have, the Overseer Guardian rifle. In my opinion is one of the best sniping rifles in the game. God damn it. He's running now, he's getting desperate. <laughs> really wants to find me. He's standing right there. You can see below the uh, 
that meter bar right there. Show you the location and and, and if he's like below you or in front of you or on top of you. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't have perfect style, but I, ha I have some good style as long as it's night time. Bitch. Not bad for survival mode, very low level. But my guns are helping me a lot. I mean, I know how to get good guns, you know, very fast um, at the beginning of the game. I already made a, a tutorial playlist um, how you can sh find some of the. Uh, not the best guns, but some of the good guns, you know, early, like, at very early level, when you start the game, so. So let's talk here with Crazy Monkey Guy. Goodbye, Crazy Monkey Guy. And uh, so remember, there's some mines around here, you got to be careful. Mines are extremely OP in this game. Especially when you, that's one right there. Especially when you play um, on the hardest difficulty, you know. Sweet. <laughs> that sounded a lot like Rad, you know, like sweet. That sounds like something that he would say. So this is just pretty much a let's have fun kind of run. Well, that's kind of a <clears throat> that's kind of the motto of my channel and RPG games like this. Always making a cosplay character, you know. Or sometimes an original character, but <sighs> yeah, like when I was with my friends, you know, listening to the awesome soundtrack of the original NES and which is the one that you can hear playing in the background um, we start to talk a lot about the game and how memorable the game was there's an enemy area over there I don't know if I should go there right now but let's just go straight to the uh, to the quest but look at this, this is pretty cool right here it's a stone age of cars pretty epic, I mean, the, the one that came with this idea is just fun as hell, man. First time I see this. First time I came over here, I remember it was with my Mad Max cosplay guy on my first original series. But, that's just shit. But, but the, the Super Mutant, the Behemoth, he wasn't here. Maybe because I was under level or I don't know. I guess I was lucky. Cause I remember I struggled. I I, re I really did struggle a lot with that Mad Max. Cause it took him some time to become powerful, and he was doing cheaty damage to the enemies and all that. But that, that's something you can expect from this game when you start a new game, especially even even if you play on normal or hard mode or just normal hard mode, you're gonna have a hard time making a strong build, you know. Like right now, I might, I might seem strong, but I'm not really that strong, I'm, I'm just decent, which is what I wanted, you know. There's some raiders over there, I think. Well, if you go into that shack, some raiders are going to respawn, I think. Or they're walking around the area, I don't know. This area right here, it looks very Bionic Commandant-ish. Like when you play the game, you, you see this type of facilities all over the game. Even on the new one, on the remake from the PlayStation 3, there's a lot of areas so similar to this. Of course, I don't have the bionic arm, sadly, right? But if you see the P-Boy, it's right on the left arm. So that's gonna make a good... Kind of like a good cosplay for that, like an excuse. Rose. 
Have to be careful because sometimes death cloud they can respawn around this area. Especially, I remember I saw under this bridge like two death cloud. But that was with my other girl, my uh, my Alicia sniper character. But I don't know if I can get jumped by. Uh, Death cloth is early in game, I don't know. Well, I don't know if this area, but maybe other areas. Okay. This house right here is a quest related house, I think. You're going to talk to that guy that is trapped in the basement. I like this area, it's pretty cool looking. I think... I think we're gonna have some wastelander here. Bobby. Oh yeah, right away, it's nice. We need those, we need those. So since, you know, with my other two, like, I'm doing a, a Mad Max series, right? In this game, like a cosplay, and I'm doing the the assassin girl, Alicia. Um, so, those, those series, they offer a, a, a more depth into, into the game, because every time I see something, I go and explore that area, like, 100%. Look at this thing. But on this series... Oh shit, what, what, what is that sound? Sounds like big steps again. But in this series, uh, it's gonna be... Mainly... Shut up. Mainly push myself to the uh, brother who are still quest, so... Because I haven't done it, like I said. So... I don't know, I just thought that Nathan will be a a good character to to role play that quest, you know, so I was also thinking of making a Sarah Connor build, you know, since I am also a huge Terminator fan. But I already did calories. Oh shit. Yeah, this is the area we wanna come in. There's a lot of zombies in it. And Hmm. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go in daylight. I don't think I ever read up here. I don't know if you can reach this area. I don't think you can. So yeah, what we wanna do is talk to the paladin. Paladin... I forgot, I forgot his name. He's a cool guy. Uh, He's one of the paladin of... Oh shit. See if I don't get busted here. Oh, they're all dead already, really? Uh, not really. Paladin, dance, dance is his name. Oh shit. They're all gonna come for me. I think I can reach me too much here. Die. Uh oh. Oh yes, sir. Oh god, I love these guns, man. They're so good. Yeah, they cannot reach me here. So this is a good this used to be a good a strategic place. Hey buddy. Some headshot on you. Mm. 